Hello and welcome back to my Fallout 4 experience and today we are doing the Silver Shroud. So I'm here with Kent, I'm going to play it my way and uh, yeah, so let's get this, uh, you know what's coming next, let's get it started. So the format is cut scenes, there's going to be action scenes, there's going to be music, there's going to be narration and everything like that. <clears throat> Good neighbours crazy, thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just got to escape a little to make it through the day. The whole world's crazy. N -n no argument here. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. That sounds familiar. You'd remember him if you heard his show. They're the best detective shows in the whole world. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun. I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. What plan? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? As it happens, I already have your costume. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia too? You're something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Uh, what are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler Jarvey Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. <sighs> That's the first sane thing you've said. Yeah, yeah. But I, I do have a better idea who should wear it. You up for being a Silver Shroud? You're just like him. Except you probably haven't been in a blimp shot down by mobsters. Why me? No one else would help me find the costume. Even though it sounds crazy, you can't. The whole world's fallen. Fallen hard. We gotta fight to make the place b better. So you in? Looks like I get to be the Shroud. Yay. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! And there you have it, right, so um, I'm thinking, you know, when the Silver Shroud was around 200 years ago, uh, they probably had nuclear cars and stuff like that, and now 200 years later, everybody's wearing power suits. So, you see at the moment, is uh, the Silver Shroud only has 42 armor, and my current armor is 341. Um, obviously, if I just wear the Silver Shroud, so I'm just going to be, and I'm level 109, so that means the, the enemies I'm going to be facing are going to be, like, close to my level. And so if I just wear the Silver Shroud outfit, uh, I'll go down to 152. But I'm thinking, if the Silver Shroud was around, they'd be wearing a power suit, some power armor. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wear the Silver Shroud costume underneath the power armor. Right, let's get this party started. And I'm also going to wear my hat, which has uh, been ballistically fibered up to 110. And that will help greatly. Right, let's get outside, get into position, and get start listening to the radio. <laughs> 